Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can customize the Rio template. Now, this tutorial will not focus on the Framer basics. If you're not familiar with Flamer as a platform, I would recommend for you to watch our other video, Framer Basics. We will also leave the link to that tutorial in the description here as well. In this video, we're going to be talking a bit more about the specifics of customizing the real template itself. But first, as soon as you purchase it, if you have a Framer account, you will see the screen. If you don't have a Framer account, then just create an account and then just click copy project. I'll wait for it to load up and then we will start customizing uh, the template. First, let's see how you can customize the navigation and the branding of the template. Um, if you double click on the navigation, you will open the navigation component. From here, we have the desktop navigation, the phone navigation and the phone open navigation. First things first, let's actually change the logo because this should be one of the first things that you do uh, once you uh, purchase your template. Template. Uh, to change it, simply click on the logo, go to the right side and here next to fill, you will see the image. Simply choose an image and let's say that this is the logo that we want to use. Uh, most likely you will see that uh, your logo is cut out or in a weird shape. So how we can fix that is we can select the logo, go to the right side and here next to size, we should unlock this property. And then from here, you can just uh, drag out the logo like here until it's all visible. Once that's done, go back and log back in the size property. Um, and this is pretty much how you change the logo on the navigation. Then to change the links here, you can either double click on the text and change the link, go to the top right and actually change the link itself. You can also have like an external link, for example, if you want to do that, you can set it to open in, in a new tab or you can actually link it to the homepage like it's intended to. Um, on the right side, we have the get started button. From here, you can change the text. So change text here and then you can change the link with the property below and also set the new tab and smooth scroll settings uh, below that. So that's pretty much how you manage the navigation. Now to change the branding and the look and feel of the template, the easiest way uh, you can do that is by changing the colors themselves. So if you go on the assets tab and scroll down, you will see that we have the color styles. And from here, if we change the accent to let's say a purple color, something like this, immediately we change the whole look um, of the website. If you scroll down, you will see that now most of the uh, blue elements are actually purple and the ones that are not purple, you would have to change those manually. For example, we have those icons here um, and those icons are actually SVG files. So you can double click that, double click it again. And then here you have the path, simply select all of the paths, go to the right side next to fill, select the accent color. Now it's purple. Um, and this way you can also set, for example, the preheading. A text, you can also uh, set it to the accent. You can select multiple text that you want to change the color of by holding down shift. So if you hold down shift and select all of those, uh, you can simply go to color and make it accent. And just like that, all of those texts are now purple. Okay, next thing uh, to customize the footer in Rio, we again are using a component for the footer. So you would double click over it. This will open the footer settings. And here we have the desktop variant, the tablet variant and the phone variant. Um, so uh, to customize, for example, the background, you can select the image overlay here. So if you click on it and then you will see that you have selected the image overlay under the layers tab. If you scroll down, we have these kind of dots that are a cool stylistic element. But if you don't want it, you can simply click on the X and remove it. Or you can add another image and try out different things and see how it looks. Uh, to change the actual color of the of the footer itself, you can go to the footer uh, here. So under the layers, go to footer, uh, go down and here you have, uh, you can see we have set it to the dark uh, color style. Uh, you can change it also by, you know, changing this, but we're gonna keep it with the dark style. Uh, then also, of course, you can change the color here. Uh, to change the logo, the procedure is same as the one on the, uh, navigation and the easiest way you can change the logo on the footer as well is copy the logo from here so select it control c go down uh, open it up and then just click control uh, v drag it above the logo delete the old logo and just like that we have replaced it a problem that you see here is that 
uh, the footer logo should actually be white so uh, we're gonna replace this image with a white logo okay so now we have a light version of the logo on the footer um, from here you can also change the text the links same way as we talked about in the navigation you can also put your social media here so you have uh, here Facebook you can put your link in here change the color of the icon you can change the icon itself by uh, you know typing in a different social media and as you can see that changes the logo if you want to remove some of those simply select the one you want to remove go to the right side and make it visible no in this way you remove that social media that you don't want if you want to add more social medias just select one of those and then just click ctrl d as many times as you wish and then uh, change the icons and yeah you you pretty much get it uh, so that's how you customize the footer on the real template now to change the client logos so what you have to do here is actually you will need to let's say drag in a logo so you can simply uh, get your logo drag it into the canvas and this way you will see it like here uh, probably it can sometimes be larger than what you need so how you should uh, approach this problem if you get it is just click on the logo position it next to the other logos and then holding down shift size it down so it fits in the same kind of uh, size as the other logos and then to connect it to the actual module just hover over once you see that uh, purple rectangle click on it go to the three dots drag it away and connect it to our new logo that we added a problem that you might face if you drag in a logo sometimes they will not um, have a frame so uh, if that problem happens to you just right click and then just click add frame go to the right side remove the fill and then just do the same thing click on the ticker module with the logos and connect it to the new frame if we preview that you will see that now we have our new logos added to our uh, section here now for the testimonials so how you can manage the testimonials it's pretty uh, similar to the uh, way that you manage the logos on this template because we're using the same exact uh, ticker module um, so uh, as you can see the testimonials are outside of the canvas and how you can manage those is you can uh, you know zoom in change the image change the name the position change the testimonial and uh, you know keep the stars obviously because they do add uh, some uh, credibility to the testimonial um, and then if you want to for example remove this testimonial you can click it and then just click delete and as you can see this removes it immediately if you want to add a new testimonial click on the testimonial uh, on one of the testimonials and then just click ctrl d and this copies it over and then here you again uh, change the content to whatever you would like change the image click on the ticker three dots hold down click it and then connect it to the new testimonial and just like that we added a new testimonial now one thing that you will notice on this template is that we have this um, lines element in the background and uh, this actually comes if you go to the layer menu you have the navigation plus hero section um, and here we actually have this image so you can mm, remove it if you want to or again you can add a different image here and i'm just going to show you how you can uh, change the color of these lines because here you see we have the uh, bluish hue in the in the lines but let's say if we want to have this purple in there i'm just going to show you how you can do that so once you have purchased uh, this template you will also get a link to the figma file um, so you will basically see this and uh, what you have to do is as it says in those instructions click here and then just click duplicate to your drafts this will duplicate the file and give you a uh, right to edit it uh, let me open it in the browser so you can see it uh, and now that we have this file duplicated to our drafts we can zoom in on the home section and here you will see we have this background image um, so uh, what you want to do here let's say that you changed your uh, accent color to a purple color instead of a blue color you would simply drag this uh, put in the color that you want to put in then copy this value and go into the other linear gradients that we have select those put in the hex code go here as well put in this hex code and as you can see this changes uh, those little accents and then uh, once you have done that simply select uh, this frame so frame 140 etc selected go to the right side go to export and click uh, um, you know click the plus so basically just do that and then from here select svg 
and then click export frame. Once you have exported that, it will download it for you. Go back to Framer, select Navigation plus Hero, go to the right side, next to Fill, click on Image, choose Image, and insert the new image. And as you can see, now we have those purple accents instead of the blue ones, and everything is on brand. Now you can do the same thing with the graphics on this page. For example, um, if you want to make these, uh, you know, circles not blue but purple, you would simply uh, select the actual image, go to the right side, click, click see all 12 library colors and see all 12 colors. Everywhere that you see this blue color, simply click it and insert our new hex code. Uh, we have also this gradient, new hex code, insert it, new hex code. Um, and now you see we have our purple colors applied. Again, go to export, make it SVG. Actually here PNG is better. Uh, make the export 1.5x, then click export frame. Go back to the template, click on the image that we want to replace, replace it. And just like that, we have our new purple color here as well. You can do the same thing here. You can do, uh, you know, the same thing basically everywhere that we have images. So one detail, those little secondary buttons, uh, you cannot change the actual color of the arrow. So what you have to do is just, let's say, select the text, pick the new color, copy it, go to the Figma file, and then here you will see we have those arrows. So simply click on them until you select only the um, actual uh, arrow. Go to the highlight color, apply the new one. Go to the background color, apply the new one, and drag it so that it's lighter. And then select it again. Go to export, make it SVG, and then just click export frame. Go back to uh, the real template, drag in your new arrow. Click Ctrl X to cut it, uh, click on learn more, click Ctrl V, delete the old arrow, and just like that we have replaced uh, the blue arrow with a purple arrow that is actually in the uh, new branding. Now one of the last things we're going to cover is managing the process section. Um, straight out of the box it comes with four uh, different steps. Now how you can add more is you can select the box, make sure on the layers tab you have selected the single step, and then you can click Ctrl D to add more. And then obviously you would edit the actual content, make sure that it's different and it's relevant to the actual steps that you are writing about. So we have step five, step six, and let's say here we don't want the get started button, so we can select it and click delete on the keyboard, just like that. Um, and if you end up wanting to remove a step, you would simply select it. Again, make sure it's selected from the layers menu and click delete. And just like that, you can delete steps. Uh, so this pretty much covers it for the process section. Now for the FAQ, we also covered this in our Framer Basics tutorial, but how you can manage that is you can double click it, uh, click on the question, go to the right side and change the question and answer here. To add more, select one of them, click Ctrl D to duplicate. To delete some of them, click one and then just click delete on the keyboard. And just like that, you can manage your FAQ. Okay guys, so this pretty much covers it for our real template tutorial. If you're stuck anywhere on this template and you need support, you can reach out to us via email, um, via email. You can visit our website wisetemplates.com to see our email or you can chat live with us there if it's within our working hours. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was useful to you. Uh, thank you for using our template and I will see you in the next video.